I mean, it's a it's a feeling all week. Um, Fuck I mean, it's, 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 it's start, <laughs> There you go. <laughs> they, they they feel it. So no, it's a feeling all week. Um, it starts. I mean, as soon as soon as this week gets begins, and you know, all through the week we practice hard, we get we practice ready and get ready for um Sunday, and you know, we get out there, we go against Dallas, like she said, it's fuck Dallas. Excuse my language. <laughs> I get money and looking for folk. Then I hit cars and put me some hours. Everyone lost me. I'm in my mood. I'm in my mood. I'm in my mood. Everyone lost Hello, everyone. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. And today, today, yes, I will be talking. Howie Roseman, should he make another move before November 1st, the trade deadline? Also, Somebody will be exposed as frost. It's either the Eagles or the Cowboys. And I'm going to talk my guy, Dicker the Kicker. Another, another guy. Another guy from the Eagles that's on the NFC Player of the Week. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Look, man. How we rules, man. I, I know I heard all the videos yesterday. I should have made a video myself. Sorry about that. But it looked like the Panthers... You know, they, they they just like the season is over. Season is over. Baker Mayfield ain't paying out. We fired Matt Rule. And they got some pieces over there. The guy that was rumored was Chris Christian McCaffrey to come to the Eagles or Brian Burns. You see, my thing with Christian McCaffrey is that him and Jalen Hurst will be one hell of a duo. But that contract, that contract, man, is it, ridiculous. But you also got a guy that play like him and a Miles Sanders, but him and Jalen Hurts in the RPO will be dangerous. Also, McCaffrey got injury history, uh, injury history like super long, so don't really want to deal with that. And plus, paying him a lot of money. Then you got guys like C.J. Gardner Johnson. It would keep Kazir White, T.J. Edwards. It, you just got a lot of contracts coming up, so that just doesn't make sense. Jalen Hurts. Miles Sanders, it's too many contracts coming up to sign a guy like that. But a guy I will take a risk on is Brian Burns, for sure. Um, and that's more of a death piece, really. It's more of like, it, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt just to get another guy. I'm confident in Josh Sweat. I'm very confident in Hassan Reddit. I'm confident in uh, Brandon Graham. I like how Patrick Johnson been playing. A lot of the guys at the edge is really are really good. Of course, the D tackles are really good, but Brian Burns is just the name you bring in. Can rotate. You give him twenty nine snaps. He's fresh every time he's on the field. So, I wouldn't be mad at it. Is I I, I won't be surprised either because that's what how we do. We did that in twenty seventeen. Just a little some add a little tweet to the game. Let's bring in Jay Ajaya. That's exactly what we did. So don't be surprised if how we got something up his sleeve. Do not be surprised. Also, I just want to talk about who will be exposed as the frauds, right? If you're on Twitter, man, salute to my guy, Philly, Philly Mike. He the one that came up with this charting right here. I really ain't see it from nobody else first besides him, but I am seeing it everywhere. Somebody will be exposed as fraud. So they say in the Eagles, well, you played the Jags. Well, you played the Cardinals. They not the same. Well, you played the Lions. The Lions are the Lions. And the Commanders are the Commanders. Yeah, y'all five and oh by luck. And well, I argument back with the Cowboys who are four and one. Y'all haven't played the good offense. The defense been leading off. Bucks, even though y'all lost that game, they twenty first. In offense, second, Bengals. They kept saying, oh, we beat the Bengals. We beat the Bengals. Last year, they was in the Super Bowl. That's not the same Bengals team. They 22nd in offense. Oh, the Giants. The Giants 4-1. They don't got a good offense, so the defense was able to dominate. Commanders is the best offense they played, and you've seen what we did to the Commanders. And the Rams. The Rams are not the same. That's not the same team with that bad offensive line. Of course, Michael Parson is is going to go insane on that team, super sane on that team. But now, the real test is Eagles are second. Eagles got the best O line, especially in pass blocking. 
in the NFL. Best. They they haven't seen no AJ Brown like that. They haven't seen no Smitty, no Goddard, anything like that. No. And when they seen something a little close to it, with the Bucks, they lost. Cooper Rush not going to put up 100 yards and win this game. Not happening. It's going to be a Cooper Rush versus Jalen Hurts. And who has the better game? Simple as that. But somebody will be exposed as frauds. I think it will be the Cowboys. Sunday night, the atmosphere is just going to be too crazy. It's going to be too much for the Cowboys to handle. Telling you Jalen Hurts is going to come out there poised. Cool, calm, and collective. And I I think he's going to have one hell of a game. I think this game, he's getting criticized for passing touchdowns. I I, I never knew this mattered so much. I thought touchdowns were touchdowns. Even even last year when he was 16-9, and I'm like, well, he did have 10 rushing touchdowns. So he was technically 26-9. and No, that one rushing touchdowns don't. What? They all six points. I don't get it. We get into the goal line. You got the best QB sneaker in the NFL. Why not do that? You got the best O-line and a guy that can literally squat about 500 pounds. Punch it in. Sneak it in. Don't play action. Try to get fancy. Throw one in. No. That's how you cause turnovers. This is what it is. So I, I don't want this thing where now Nick Sirianni, you know, he trying to get his guy stacks up. So we start passing it a lot more in the goal line. Nope, stick to the plan. Destroy these teams with the running game at the goal line. Simple as that. Simple as that. I, I'm watching the press conference a little bit as I'm filming this video. And I'm, I'm seeing what Nick Sirianni saying. How we got to contain Michael Parsons. Jalen Hurts is saying Michael Parsons is very disruptive. But I believe we got a game plan for him. See, the thing is, I seen the Rams try it, but the Rams don't got an offensive line. I seen a couple teams try it, but they don't have an offensive line. So, hey, get a guy like D-Law off. Or I, I forgot the guy named that D-Tackle's Ozzy, some I don't know. He goes off on a one-on-one matchups because teams are so worried about Michael Parsons. But the difference with our team is Landon Dickinson can win his one-on-ones. If Malata play, he can win his one-on-ones. We know Lane Johnson can win his one-on-ones. So I, I don't know if they're going to get that off with us. I don't think they are. But this is going to be a very good game. And once again, I usually go over last game, but I haven't gotten a chance to touch it because these Dallas Cowboys, man, now they coming up. Well, y'all play teams that average this points per average. I don't know. I I don't know, man. I, I think we played better competition as far as offense than they did. Like the Jazz got a high ranking offense. Commanders are 19th. Like, we play some good offenses, really shut them down. They play some horrible offense. And when you play horrible offense, that's what a defense is supposed to do. They did their job, but they haven't seen an offense like ours. 20 points ain't going to cut it from Cooper Rush. 17 points ain't going to cut it from Cooper Rush. But somebody will be exposed. But, hey, man, what do you think? And how do you feel, man? But my guy, Dicker the Kicker, about... Cowboys and Eagles. This will be talked about up until Friday. I might not shoot a video Saturday because I'm going to see that that Halloween movie with my wife. But this is going to be talked about all week. This is what all the content creators going to talk about. Eagles versus Cowboys up until Saturday. And a couple of us are going to live stream. But this is our computer analyst. And also, well, how we make that move. I think how we will make another move. Ghosts.